What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. LaMelo Ball, one of my favorite players in the NBA, and I hope that the man can stay healthy this season. Please, I love watching this kid play. He's a lot of fun to watch. Very talented. 6'8 point guard. Probably the second best handles in the league after Kyrie Irving. Six foot eight. I never seen a six foot eight player in the NBA dribble like this guy. But anyway, very talented young player. Doesn't play any defense, but so is the atmosphere of the NBA. But anyway, made some comments in a post game interview that. I guess the NBA feels is detrimental to their league, which given the atmosphere of today and how the NBA is drenched and soaked in this social justice warrior mindset, uh, sensitivity, uh cancel culture uh i i don't even know if i have the words to describe it i don't want to know if i want to call them far left or what far left yes the nba is a liberal sport the nba is so much into politics deep in it balls deep in it anyway if you didn't hear it if you don't know what happened he basically said, no homo, attached to a comment he said, answering the question to the reporter. Take a look at it. What did you see right here when Giannis took that shot and everyone was underneath the basket for that rebound? You said that last play when he took the shot? Yeah, we, we loaded up. No homo. See, that's what we wanted. Put the hand up and then live with the results. Honestly, not the best. Like, I get it, but not the best comment to use that phrase with. He probably would have been better off just saying pause. Pause probably would have worked better. But I don't think the comment warranted pause or no homo either way. But this is the atmosphere that we live in today. Especially when you are a pro athlete in a league that is liberal, very far left, and drenched in its politics. So now you are subject to watching your mouth and being hypersensitive because anything you say can or will be used against you in the court of Commissioner Adam Silver. Listen, this is the atmosphere. You have to be careful what you say. A lot of that stuff that you say casually, off the cameras, hanging out with your homies, your friends, it ain't going to fly when the cameras is on in the NBA. And I get it. Probably just slipped off his tongue because it's something that he uses all the time. But, hey, the NBA ain't going to like that. NBA is not going to like it. They probably see it as actions or words that are harmful to others and detrimental to the league. I don't know what they said in the exact statement that they put out, but I would have to imagine it's something like that. Harmful comments that are detrimental to a group and the NBA. Something along those lines, I'm sure. This, this is the world we live in. Every other week, there's something you're not allowed to say that you're not allowed to do. And if you're not on Twitter and you're off social media, you have no clue what's going on. And you're just saying something innocently and all of a sudden somebody's, you know, grabbing you by the neck. What did you say? You can't say that. I just said, oh, I just said that I, um, I, uh, I, I was reading this, I was reading this novel and, um, uh, there was, there was, there was, uh, fairies and goblins. And I said, you know, I don't really like fairies, but I like the goblins. Who did you call a fairy? That happened to me. I'm using that as an example because it happened to me. Not like that. I didn't know fairy was a gay slur. So we were talking about something. I was like in a discord like a couple years ago. 
And I made a comment or something or something, and I called somebody a fairy. It had nothing to do with, you know, being gay or anything like that. Uh, I forgot the context I was using it. And I guess the person was gay, and they popped off on me. I was so confused. Like, what? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't... I, I didn't mean no harm. I was like, I didn't know fairy was a gay slur. I, I apologize. I didn't know. I was like, how long has this been a thing? <laughs> it's got, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, aside from that, players just, just got to be careful now. Watch what you say. Watch what you say. Especially the younger people, you generally know what these rules are. And how they're constantly changing and evolving. So you guys, I know y'all are aware. So just be careful what you say. Now with that being said, a hundred K, a hundred thousand dollars. That's absurd. That is absurd. A hundred K, a hundred thousand dollars for saying that. I don't care how much money these guys make. I understand that 100K is pennies to a lot of basketball players. But regardless, that's $100,000. You find this man for saying that. That is a WNBA player's salary, I'm pretty sure. 100K? The average American doesn't make anywhere close to 100K. And that is before taxes. 100K? That's crazy as hell. If I was a mellow ball, give a damn how much money I got. I would I, I would push back on that. I would absolutely push back on that. That's bullshit. Didn't Nikola Jokic say? Yeah, I think he said the same thing. I think Joker said the same thing like five years ago or something like that. And he only got fined a quarter of what Lamelo Ball got fined. Joker only got fined twenty five thousand, and what Joker said was worse than what Lamelo said. If I'm gonna be honest with you, so in five years, seventy five more thousand dollars than what you charge Joker, fine Joker. Oh, I, 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 mm. if I'm Lamelo Ball, I'm pushing back on the NBA. I want I want Commissioner Adam Silver on speed dial. I'm calling him all kinds of MFers. All kinds of mothers. Explain to me why why Joker said this and got fined 25,000 and you hit me with 100k? Boy, what? Boy? Is it because was I on national TV and he wasn't I, I, I don't know, explain it to me. And I don't even I don't even think LaMelo was on national TV for that game. I don't think that was on TNT or ESPN or anything like that. That's crazy as hell. That's crazy as hell. That's bullshit. 100K. And the reason the NBA has gone far left and drenched itself in politics so deeply now is Adam Silver has a lot to do with it. That's the direction he started pushing the NBA more after he took over from David Stern. That's crazy to me, man. I ain't giving up that money if I'm a mellow ball. You gonna have to blackball me out the league. The hell out of here. Yes, this is the atmosphere we live in. Yes, understand that you're under the umbrella of the NBA, so you got to play by their rules, unfortunately, for some things. You know, you got to be careful what you say, what you what you preach about. But understand that you're going to get smacked with a fine the minute you pop off with something that is going to offend a particular group. That's just how it is. But 100 k that's what I'm really mad about. I ain't mad about getting fined in the current atmosphere of a league that I play in, I gotta understand that. But 100K? Fuck out of here. Excuse my language. Y'all know I don't be y'all don't be cursed on this channel like that. Y'all know that. Y'all know I keep a fairly clean channel. Y'all know that. Damn. And I know I mentioned politics and the NBA being far left. That's not me saying that I'm right or left. That's just me being honest about what the NBA is. <laughs> That's just the truth. Believe whatever politics you want to. I'm sure some people are going to be like, what is, what is Boo? Who does he support? Huh? Is he liberal? Huh? 
He rolled with the Republicans, huh? Did he vote for Kamala, huh? Did he vote for Trump, huh? You will never know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. Let me know what you think about this one. Crazy, 100K. And I catch you on the next one. We out, baby.